This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine!
John! I need your help. John! First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance, it's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives.
Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. It's camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. What's going on? Lights are still on outside. Must be the fuse box. I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. Fuses are over there. I don't know shit about electricity. And I don't get paid to fix fuses. Let's just flip the switch. If that doesn't work, we can call maintenance. Did you get it? A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. 
What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you. Thank you. By the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Well, you're wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again.
He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I can't remember. Who Wait, killed that man you... if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... I didn't see Were you see alone any... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? 
The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. to do with this one tell it you changed your mind uh, uh sorry honey you changed my mind I know which direction it went, I just need to find another android that saw it. Let's try this one. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Too late. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out.
People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody... <laughs> When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? I overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them.
Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. Over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. comes when least expected. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. I'll handle this. There we go. find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going.
fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. We'll be like them someday. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Let's get you to bed. I know this has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they stuck together. So they overcame all of them along the way. They met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. Mm -hmm. 
She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you, and you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. The best choice for you.
to Android Parking. You clutch. Welcome to Android Pick them Parking. Pick them and make it snap. Welcome to Android Parking. Welcome to Android Parking. Welcome to Android Parking. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ladies first. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who took? What are you doing? See them! Get up! Move! Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote, and elect our own representatives.
We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! Hurry! We gotta get to the roof! Simon! Well, Simon! There was nothing you could do. If we don't go now, they'll get us too. interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise.
I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. 79th floor. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. Turned up anything? They got taken down before they could react. Uh, I'll check with them. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take you over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA9? 
Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. something I identified its model and serial number anything else I should know no nothing Connor? You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. I would have died on that terrace. Even if it wasn't you, I just wanted to say thank you. Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them.
They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! Component 8451 regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant?
I think we've seen everything there is to see. You want to go? Yes. Okay, we're out of here.